Welcome back, folks, to Space Engineers. <coughs> it's been a good long while since I've been able to get on to some Space Engineers. And, uh, yeah, this may be uh, a little bit of a shorter episode, but I wanted to do some... How should I put this? Final things. So, I'm thinking that this is going to be the season finale slash uh, final episode uh, of my Space Engineer series, at least for this moment. And the reason for that is, I'll be honest, I got kind of burned out. Um, got to the point where I don't really know what to make. I don't really know what to do, even with all the mods and, and all that stuff. I, uh, it just kind of got to the point where wasn't sure what to do anymore. So I wanted to see about getting ourselves situated for either the next season at some point. Uh, I, I kind of jumped into season two, uh, kind of quickly. I was like, what was it, two weeks or so after season one? And uh, I, I did do what I kind of pretty much set out to do with what I wanted to make and all that stuff. Uh, but, you know, there's there's a few other things uh, that we didn't get around to. And, you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. I, I had my... a good amount of fun on this. And I gotta say, you know, it's been a blast. So one of the things I wanted to do was... I remember in the last... What was it last episode we were checking to see if the rover was gonna fit into this particular thing and we found out that nope it wasn't but I totally forgot I have the side door over here which I know is pretty wide and I'm pretty sure we can fit into this side so we'll just uh, mosey on in There we go. Nice. Okay, and then we'll just bring this on down. Cool. And we'll back up. Nice, there we are. We are in. So I'm going to, I'm not gonna park, but I'm gonna turn my power off. And we should be able to hit the button over here. Of course, I put it in the worst spot ever, but I can reach it. There we go. Check that out. Our vehicle is now inside. Cool. I'm down with that. Uh, how are we doing on fuel and all that good stuff? We got plenty of artillery shells. We got, we got some artillery shells going. Uh, we got plenty of uh, ammo. Okay, we got plenty of plenty of items. Fuel. We're okay for the moment. All right. Let's see. Let's go ahead and drop these off. All right. I kind of want to do some preliminary checks, just to make sure that we are essentially good to go. Maybe drain the base to make sure that we have everything out of the base that we need. There is something coming. Three enemy signals. You know, one thing I want to check out was what was this little crash over here? Ooh. Okay. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Okay, so these were the Reavers. That's right. Very nice. Cool. We'll go drop these off. We'll put it right in here. 
Great. All right, so let's take a kind of a I don't want to say a final look at the base, but well, let's see what we can. Let's take stock. How's that? That's the word I'm looking for. Let's take stock of what we have, what we can bring with us. So, is there anything in here? Oh, yeah, I got some. Pretty much just gonna ferry this stuff into my main uh, main ship area. Do I have a conveyor? Hmm, I need a connector in here somewhere. Let's do something along like this, where. Hmm, trying to think. If I maybe do inventory full. What was that? I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was kind of terrifying. Okay, let's go with the conveyor. Of course, if I can't spell correctly, uh, conveyor junction just so we can get this thing back up and running. What? Come on. Really? Inventory full. Inventory. Ah. I keep full. I keep forgetting that uh it's Inventory F, full. Not E. Inventory full. Really? Hmm. Okay. Let me see. Uh, tell you what. Why don't I just go into my storage area. And we will just drop off all this stuff. There we go. Bring up conveyor junction. Uh, go to the build planner. And then also... While we're here, we'll also get the connector as well. Okay, let me see. Da, 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 da. Is it Alt Shift or is it? See, it's been so long since I played, I kind of forgot how to. Uh... There we go. <laughs> I forgot what things to to push. There we go. Components added. So let's go. I know it's I know it's functional, but I want to make sure that everything is like good to go. Hmm. Well, what if I go? Am I just added those pieces? Maybe. Okay, we take these, 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 these. Uh, motors, interior plates, construction components, that's medical components. Oh, I must be out of construction components. It's alright. I can get those. Let me see. We'll just. Yep, it's all construction components. So let me go to this one. All right. So we just need more construction. Uh, easy way of doing this is we'll just make some. I have my assemblers and all that stuff in here. Just go to production. Go to construction components. There we go. Almost there. There we go. That should be enough. I mean, the whole reason why I'm building this is just so I don't have to go all the way back and forth. You know, I could just 
deposit right here and, and go back. So uh, I'm not gonna I'm gonna leave ammo and all that good stuff for the turrets in here. So I will take these power cells, all that good stuff. Oh, we're also going to need the ice, too. Because that ice is good for fuel and also oxygen. Let me see. Uh, I don't need all of this stuff, so we can drop all of these weapons. Drop these tools. There we go. Yeah, that was kind of weighing me down a bit. So I was actually thinking about, not that I'm going to do it, but I was thinking about uh, having us like essentially go out in a blaze of glory, like finding one of those massive ships and like try colliding with it and seeing if we can like crash land into the ship and, you know, die a glorious death. But I wanted there to be some... Maybe, I don't want to say, maybe hope for for the next season. Uh, if, you know, if and when. It may be a few weeks, it may be a month, it may be uh, next year. Who knows? Uh, yeah, my, my, I, I do have to thank a lot. Like, I, I have to thank Space Engineers a lot for my channel I I should say because I think a lot of you guys are here for this as well as other you know other other ones I have on my episodes I have on my channel Fuel. but yeah. I know that this game has brought a lot of you guys to my channel Fuel. and I Critical. really really appreciate that I just uh, I, I need a break I need a break from this game you know, I got I got I got a backlog of other games that I want to do and play. Like for instance, I got my the Infected uh, series at the moment going on, which is awesome. Uh, I need to finish up Stray, do some more Inquisitor uh, Martyr, yeah, as well as uh, finish up the Guild Three. So you know, I have quite a few games on my plate and versus dedicating myself to one game I feel like I would be doing a disservice a disservice to myself and to you guys by just locking myself into one game because I don't know maybe it's my my ADHD I gotta I'm always trying to find new stuff to do, you know, to work on, to to mess around with and all that stuff and sticking with one thing like non-stop uh, I just, I get bored very easily with that okay, so I think we've drained the base pretty well of all of the stuff there we go get this in here cool uh, let's let's take a final look around got all of our cannons make sure everything is all tip-top shape cannons are good yeah I really didn't take any damage from the last uh, last assault that we had in the last episode Which is a very good thing, right? Okay, let me see. Uh, how are we doing on the missiles? Missiles looks pretty good too. All right, looks pretty pretty awesome to me. A couple last things I want to make sure that get myself situated on. is I'm going to go into uh, 
Oh, that was weird. It was like a like a lag spike or something. Cool. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to build. Uh oh. A reaver mutilator has detected a potential target. All right. Let's get uh. Let's get outside real quick. Get our binoculars. Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe I spoke a little too soon about the impending doom. Holy crap. Uh yeah, we'll let we'll just let our cannons do the work. There it goes. Holy crap! Uh oh, of course I get shot. That's all right. I'm okay with that. Holy crap! We really did take it down! Look at that thing! Oh yeah, those artillery strikes, man. They are messing that thing up. Oh, that is... That is too cool. What do we got over here? What is this? Is that a program block? Well, I gotta find my body. So, I think it's safe to say that... I mean, as long as I keep ammuni uh, ammunition in my... in my cargo... we can... we can fend for ourselves. You know, we, we, we can we can hold our own. We just destroyed that massive ship. Fuel low. Look at the size of this thing. Fuel critical. Wow. Okay. Let me see, go to my to my tools I got going on here. I mean, not much is left. It's just a lot of steel plates and whatnot. Oh, that is a huge thing of ice. Holy crud. I'm curious as to what's up here. Um, of course, this would be a lot easier if I had my jetpack, but hey, it is what it is, right? Wow. I'm... I am impressed with the amount of firepower we are able to put out in the short period of time and to take this thing down. Like, that is awesome. Let's take these out. I mean, at this point, I'm not really trying to, like, get the parts, so to say. I'm going to see if I can try to roll this thing down the hill. Inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory wow. full. Yes, Inventory I know. Inventory full. 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 Huh. Okay. Oh yeah, I mean this thing is look at the size of it. Look at that. All of that goodness. <laughs> and he even crashed more over here, huh? Okay. 
Man, that thing just... Explosion after explosion. That was pretty cool. Inventory full. Very nice. Alright. I think we have... Definitely made our point that, uh... Well, we can take what they throw at us. Uh, we have we have some bar uh, some bite to our bark, and I think that's a pretty good a pretty good thing. Oh, what's that? I'm curious as to what is leaking the green. Huh. Inventory full. Is it the nuclear? Inventory full. Inventory full. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, probably not best to Inventory hang full. around that area. All right. Let's get let's get back. Drop all this good stuff off. And then we will buckle up the hatches and we will boldly go where no man has gone before. Well, who knows? Maybe there have been, but... At least try to get away from these damn reavers. Okay. Uh... Do I have my... Okay, cool. I put a bunch of uranium ing uh, ingots in there, so we should be perfectly fine on fuel. That's how much ice do we have? Eh, we have enough. At least to get us wherever it is we're going. Alrighty. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, let's buckle up the hatches. Nice. Uh, let's see. We got any. What is. What happened here? I wonder if this uh, got damaged or something. Huh. That's interesting. Any damage in here? No. Don't see anything. No! Okay. Woo. Uh, I probably should put these in there real quick, huh? There we go. Fuel critical. Yeah, I know. All right. So this also should be air airtight. Not that I have any air going in there, but I was able to seal it up, so air didn't wasn't able to get in. That's why I have these backup airlocks on that side. Alright, let's get some more fuel real quick. Get our power all the way up. Sweet. Okay. It's time for, it's time for takeoff. Here we go. <clears throat> Fanny pads unlocked. Thrusters all on. Oh, probably help if I actually turned all the fanny pads unlocked. Maybe it's, uh, I gotta actually unlock everything. Landing gear. There's only two of them. Toggle block off. Or, let's do auto lock off. Use for parking. Okay. Huh. 
Oh. I guess I'm just, uh, kind of heavy. Okay. Okay. That's, that's not good. <laughs> uh, nervous laugh. Let's What is keeping us so heavy? Hmm. You know, it might be all the missiles that we have. Yeah, that's probably Oh, oh, hello. We did suffer some damage. Oh boy. I did not notice that. Huh. Well, how are we doing on the bottom here? Got those. Fuel low. Fuel critical. Okay. I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna do some repairs and I'll bring you guys right back. Alright folks, I'm back. So I was able to repair the damage that was done over onto this side and added a couple more thrusters down below. So we are now floating and we are good. I also added a quick little thing. I added this conveyor with a cryo tube. So that way when we go and uh, go on the journey, we'll be okay. So let's take off. So I don't think I'm going to go as a straight 90 degrees. Ooh, what was that? Oh, okay. So there was some damage done up there. All right. Let's see how fast this goes. Wow, we're actually leaving Atmo pretty quickly. All right, so we do have a damaged uh, landing pad. And when I was running around inside, I was hearing a bunch of, like, banging and tinking uh, sounds. So there's something, there's something rumbling around in the inside. Alright, so we're getting, we're getting there. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but... I can sure hear it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. We are... Uh, let's do it this way. I noticed that we were like going backwards. So I know I have more more thrusters underneath, so I'm using those to essentially take us out of orbit. I believe this is like a 10,000 meter area, so once we get past 10,000, we should be fine. Cool. We are now in artificial gravity. So we are no longer in the planetary gravity, which is great. 
Let's take a look at our surroundings. Sweet. We are out of here. So, I think we're going to head in... I'm going to turn my dampeners off. And we're going to head in this direction. Cool. Yeah, so there's some type of banging sound in here somewhere. I'm not sure where it's coming from. So let's go uh, let's go take a quick look over here. Oh Ow. That definitely hurt. Totally forgot because my dampeners were off. That was a rookie mistake. Alright, how are we doing on fuel and all that good stuff? Inventory. Oh yeah, tons. And especially now that we're just on essentially cruise mode where we're going off of the inertia, inertia dampeners and we're not actively pushing our fuel. That should last us a really, really long time. Actually, I wanna, I'm kind of curious as to see exactly how long we have. And this is in real time, hours, days, or whatever, that it's gonna take us to burn through 16 days of just non-stop travel like this. All right, let's go that way. I know we got a Reaver Invader, but with the amount of weapons and stuff that I have on here, I'm not uh, I'm not worried about it. All right, guys. Well, uh oh, <laughs> we got trouble. Where is it? Uh, it's up there, huh? See, yeah, it's definitely coming for us. Where is it exactly? It's like it's coming up behind us. He's gonna, he's gonna be open. He's gonna be, uh, gonna get a rude awakening. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna stop our. I'm gonna uh, control our descent. Second. There we go. Ah, it's not letting me. One second. Okay. Sorry, I was having an issue with my, uh, we looking over here they're definitely tracking I think we uh, <laughs> yeah we, we survived not only survived but we uh, seem to be have uh, chased them off because they are flying away from us cool and we don't seem to be any worse for the wear those artillery cannons, I'm telling you, man, those those things are absolutely amazing. Very cool. Alright, folks, I think we're going to be safe from here on out. So, here's to you, and uh, here's to many, many future battles. But until then, Great Old Gamer is signing out. Catch you on the flip side.